what is going on everyone, I'm Jim here and welcome back so this is week or day one of my living in Xubuntu uh, with Xubuntu uh, so basically today I'm gonna show you the basic stuff that I did customizing my system now this version is Xubuntu 13.10 and uh, it's basically completely different from what you see first of all what I did is added Doki to the bottom so um, I have all my quick shortcuts to what I need to do uh, what I basically want to and uh, it's kind of like Mac because I've said it if you maximize a window it's a kind of like the Mac thing it, it doesn't get any lower than the dock but it's pretty easy to undo it's just a quick intelligent height kind of thing and I really like the effects of this like yeah um, oh well so wait, wait. Uh, so I fixed the problem with Firefox uh, not updating so I have this now it is 28.0 it just updated yesterday to this version and uh, yeah so basically what I needed to do is just add the PPA and that will automatically update from there so yeah so um, one thing that I did is I've installed the NVIDIA proprietary drivers I don't know how you say that but I've installed the NVIDIA drivers and that completely messed up my system it was bringing me into a command line which I had to log in and then type start x and one out of three it, it had one of the three chance to open so mm, yeah I deleted them and I have the three drivers instead so I've finally found how to add the application launcher in the dock bar the thing is I don't know how but it's just randomly popped up an icon right clicked it and it allowed me to pin it which was amazing I was so happy to add settings and applications finder but I don't need the other part that you saw here so I've set it to auto hide and it's really kind of takes some time to get back so yeah compass is okay I've set it to auto start with my system but whenever I do something like opening it, uh, it look at that no wobbly windows um, I still get the animations but when I start my system I have to go CCSM enable wobbly wi windows and disable the others and it has a chance to work so yeah that's that's not really that good um, other than that I didn't do anything really um, that I have to talk about instead um, I've put Mac OS X uh, wallpaper I've installed LibreOffice so this is LibreOffice 4 yeah 4.1 and I've put the trim command to my SSD uh, now to enable trim I had to go to sudo gedit and then etc uh, etc or whatever fs tab and I had to press enter put in my password and then I can go and type in discard in here so that adds the discard option which basically enables trim so yeah, um, I've removed Abbey Word, installed LibreOffice. Um, I have my applications binder here. Uh, now the thing is about Wine, I can't really. I've been uninstalled this program, this for story kind of thing, so I can't really open. But um, it's still shown on my desktop on the application finder. I don't know why. Um, so I've installed dconf editor or dconf editor, um, wine of course, um, and the others I've let them there. Uh, there's I've deleted some junk uh, that ha that it had pre-installed, and also I've installed Skype. So it's pretty stocked. Um, catfish file search. At, uh, it's not really that good. I might delete it as well. So yeah, um, I've changed the theme, and the only thing I think I did 
interesting. Um, it's basically this bar that they had by Xubuntu, the right click bar. Um, it's gone, I can't really, oops, can't really click there. And it enabled the double click, which is amazing. Um, yeah. So, that's all I did on these, um, on this PC. Um, yeah, that's all I basically did into my system. If you want me to continue this and say day two, be sure to uh, comment me down below day two or whatever. If you want me to do customizing on camera, customizing Ubuntu on camera, be sure to comment me that as well. And also, if you want me to be doing a week one and week two, be sure to comment me down below as well. So three options, or rather none option. Like, I'm gonna continue this series, but I want to know if you want me to do it as day-to-day -day or week-to-week. -week. So, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be it about uh, living in Xubuntu day one. Thanks for watching. If you have anything to say, please comment it down below. And I basically read all the comments. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later. Stay awesome.